Blog Talk Love. Radio. Welcome to this week's segment. They show five reasons why everyone is moving their website to WordPress. And for one thing, it's because everyone knows WordPress. WordPress is a popular platform that powers more than one third of the world's websites, ranging from small blogs to professional sites like Skype and Microsoft. It is among the top three most used site building packages. The other two are Joomla and Drupal. WordPress is available to download for no cost and easy to use. This holds true not only for experts, but also for beginners. In recent years, many bloggers, writers have shifted their websites from other word platforms to WordPress as it often leads to a great career path. Let's read more about the reasoning. And it really depends on what type of business you have and how you're marketing. Because if you're just doing a simple website, WordPress can be really great. But if you're looking to do more of an e-commerce business, you're going to have to, if you use WordPress, you're going to have to upgrade and pay for it and link it to other plugins. Because those plugins are how you're going to be able to market your products. It's flexible. New users only need to do a domain name and a web hosting account to start their website. Plus, it's one of the most excellent skills and fields to learn as a career path. And here's the thing. If you're just starting up, WordPress can be one of the best platforms to use to get started with. Offers multiple theme options. WordPress extends a broad variety of free website templates and themes, which are great for just about every kind of website, from simple blogs to professional sites. These themes can be easily customized through options panel that allows the user to change colors or backgrounds, upload logos, along with creating beautiful sliders without using any complicated code. WordPress provides the flexibility to purchase designs made by independent third-party designers from around the world. Here's something else that I want to say. For a while there, I had my website docked on a site called Wealthy Affiliate, but Wealthy Affiliate was simply a platform that was using WordPress to teach its members how to build websites and how to market e-commerce by joining affiliate programs and marketing them. And it's but the thing is that the the main use for WordPress that makes it good is that it's a blogging site and really set up and designed for that. Safe and secure. Website safety and security is an area of enormous concern for almost every website owner. WordPress is a safe and secure platform to run your website as it was created with security as the top priority in mind. We're more than 10,000 websites 
are blacklisted by Google every day of the week. WordPress is audited frequently by hundreds of developers to assure its protection of any kind of malware as business websites are massive risk for scams. WordPress provides them a secure place to function, freedom to use various media types to attract the larger audience towards your content and keep them engaged. You'll need to do more than just post information. Instead, people tend to read posts that have eye-catching pictures alongside them. WordPress is not only limited to writing text, but a particular topic. It also provides you the freedom to upload pictures, audio, and video files. It has a built-in media uploader for this very purpose. What's more, you can even share media from other websites like YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram just by adding the URL to the post editor. Now, let me just say this. I really love WordPress, but it can really be difficult to, to work with and build. And the neat thing, although we're saying that it has all of these capabilities, one thing that happens is if you're using WordPress, someone who's familiar with WordPress, they can tell that it's a WordPress website because the templates are very similar. There's no variety. There's no way of creating it and making it your own where it's unique to you, where it stands out, where it brands you. Search engine optimization friendly. WordPress is an open source for content manager. It allows the user to manage, write, and publish websites, even if they aren't very knowledgeable about HTML or other coding languages. WordPress is a highly SEO-friendly platform. It makes it easy to use search engine optimization, including for beginners, or including, yeah, including a highly SEO-friendly platform, and it makes it easy to use SEO, including for beginners, but utilizing SEO plugins to optimize the websites. This brings more traffic to the writer's blogs and helps the website get higher Google rankings with ease. Now, here's some helpful tips to get started. For one thing, online classes. When first creating your website and connecting it to WordPress, it's obviously better to learn and do it. Do your homework first. For this reason, beginners are encouraged to take a course online class before fully diving into. For instance, Udemy offers a master WordPress class with educational videos and downloadable resources of information. They also provide a certificate of course completion. Domain and hosting. Get started by selecting a domain name and website according to your chosen theme. Then get it registered and download WordPress. Create content. Customize it according to the audience's requirements and start work on your project immediately. And keep updating your website regularly and publish any new work. Don't forget to use the WordPress support system 
when necessary. The cost. Luckily, WordPress is free to download and use, so it doesn't put any financial burden on the users. If you're looking for a platform to reach your audience, then you'll need to host your website or blog first, which can be costly. Publishing your website usually comes with a cost that ranges between $6 to $35 a month, and that should make the advantage obvious. Now, WordPress is a well-renowned platform for website owners and hosts around 34% of all websites. Every day, the number of website or WordPress users grows rapidly because it offers a user-friendly, secure, supportive environment. As an added bonus, WordPress itself is entirely free. If you're contemplating starting your own blog or website, start today. Take an online class, get your certificate, learn from online tutorials, and start working and creating right away. Now, what else should you know about WordPress? And this is what's really important because no matter what you think, there's the little ins and outs and little other things that you need to be aware of. WordPress is a tool designed for everyone emphasizing accessibility, performance, security, and ease of use. WordPress is an open source content management system that you can use for customizing your content and website. There are some of the basic information about WordPress that, should, that you should know, and it will help you to understand WordPress easily. WordPress is, a, is the most famous content management system in the world. It's something that everyone knows, and that is why if you use it, you can understand just how important it really is. So, WordPress is the most famous and widely used CMS in the world. WordPress has more websites than any other content management system in the world. In fact, WordPress now powers 30% of the web, somewhere between 60 to 70% of websites that use a custom or a content management system are built on WordPress. This content management system is the most commonly used content management system in the world because of its flexibility and compatibility. This is user-friendly CMS and has a lot of features you can, you can use to create and maintain your website easily. Plugins let you add a ton of functions to WordPress without coding. WordPress has large numbers of plugins that you can use for different purpose. Now, here's the thing. You want to use those plugins, you're not going to get WordPress for free. You're going to have to upgrade and pay a monthly fee in order to utilize those. Remember that. Now, I happen to currently use a platform that incorporates WordPress into it, where And it also not only gives you WordPress, but it gives you access to really building out a fully functional e-commerce store with a checkout, with a way to upsell, with sales funnels, 
and the, and the sales funnels are also set to be able to work with WordPress and in incorporating all of these other tools. Now, if you need to do social proof, if you need to put together a good script and you don't know how to do copywriting, the, these are some tools that are available on the platform that I use. So let's get back to what we're talking about. WordPress has a large number of pro plugins that you can use for different purposes. These are both free and play plugins available on WordPress. They can do virtually anything without the need to write code from scratch. Right now, there are over 50,000 plugins available in the WordPress directory. Some premium plugins give you extra features that can add even more functionality to your site. Plus, if you know PHP, you can further customize any plugin and theme. You want to do exactly what you need it to do or build your own plugin from scratch. Some really high profile brands using WordPress. A myth about WordPress is that since it's an open source, it may not be good enough for the big brands, but you're totally wrong. Do you want to know which high profile brands are using WordPress. The list of the names of these brands is too long, but you can, but we are sharing some big, big names such as Sony Music, Microsoft News, TechCrunch, the Walt Disney Company, Facebook Newsroom, Vogue, Toyota Motor Brazil, using or uh, Usain Bolt, Angry Birds, Quartz, PlayStation Blog, Star Wars News, Beta, Ted Blog, and so on. If WordPress is powerful enough for these sites, then it is powerful enough for almost any website you need to build. Now, let me tell you something. What those big companies do that there is they have someone that's a web designer that knows how to go in and play with WordPress and totally make it their own with their own banners and their own little things that they need to make it work. So if you're a beginner, you're not going to get the kind of website that those particular corporations have using WordPress. WordPress is a totally an open source content management system. You never have to pay for WordPress, and you can make any changes that you want to the site's code. You can use WordPress for multiple sites and for any site that you want, and for as many sites as you want without purchasing additional licenses. There are also multiple number of free things and plugins available, all of which you can use and customize your content and word and website. WordPress sites are easy to manage, both in terms of maintenance of your site and maintenance of your client sites. WordPress gives you a lot of features that you can use to maintain your website easily. So what we need to recognize is WordPress just happens to be one platform, but it has been very successful in being able to market itself, and it's just a more well-known name in today's marketplace. WordPress gives you a lot of features that you can use 
for maintaining your content and website easily. WordPress also helps you overcome your problems, meaning if you face some problem while using WordPress, you can directly contact the technical team and they will give you a solution within a short period of time. There is free support available from the community, but if needed, there is premium support available from a variety of developers. So if you run into an issue you really can't figure out on your own, you can always hire someone to help you. The neat thing about WordPress is very, very simple. That with WordPress, you're getting a platform that really understands or, or is is so well known you can actually use it in a way that can can show you what I'm going to do is read you some of the the, the resource or some tips about some things that, that they suggest because it might help you. So one of the things is how does it work? Well, one of the things you need to do is first pick the name of the company generator. And well, let's put it this way. If you don't know how to come up with a, a domain name, then they have something that if you put in your company name, then it can generate some various little ideas of how to help you to build a website or to think about a website. And one of the things is to think about how do you want to stand out? What's going to make you different? And how can you literally customize everything that you have on there. For some people, it's not it's not always knowing what to do or how to do do it right. It's usually how they see it. So one thing is, why don't you look at at how you can utilize it? Well. What if you want to do an e-commerce store? Well, one of the neat things is that you can post pictures and post descriptions and help you customize. So always, you know, there's, there's so many different sites out there. There's so many different ways of, of doing things that you need to look at what and how you are, are, are planning your sites. And think about, I know I'm, I'm getting off track here. So, Let's look at some things that you can do with WordPress. Because what if you want to create info, an infographic with WordPress? Well, nobody likes websites that are crammed full of text with hardly any images or diagrams. Not only is such content visually unappealing and dull to read, but it is also difficult to present data in a mentally digestible way using words alone. And this is where WordPress plugins for infographics step in. There are quick and easy ways of jazzing up your website while helping you to present complex data and un understandably. Infographics are commonly confused with data visualizations. That is understandable, given that we use both a present data and information 
or rather what we yeah what we do is is that we use both present data in a visual form so when you embed a graphic or a table in your website you are really adding data visualization as opposed to an infographic so like here's a little infographic it says why do we yawn well involuntarily opening our mouth and inhaling deeply when tired or bored humans and animals all yawn as soon as we wake up we yawn during the day hundreds ha hunched over our desk we yawn in the evening while watching tv we yawn but why do we yawn does it have a positive effect on us and what should we do if we cannot stop yawning? Well, now we got that's the infographic, and the infographic has a little boy yawning, and then it says too many theories. Well, I'm not going to get into it, but it gives you a good idea of why and how we use these these little or how you can utilize WordPress when you're putting together your website and all the different things that you can do with it. For one thing, and I've, I've used, in fact, I have a couple of sites sitting on WordPress. Now, I don't have my domain names there because I my domain names are utilized with what I do. Like I, I am setting up an entrepreneur's academy. So that entrepreneur's academy is called Home Based Business Blueprint Network. And in that capacity, what I do is I teach you how to set up a home based business and how to create websites and how to utilize those websites with actual tools like if you want to create an e-learning course or put together a summit or anything. Because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting together a course right now that's called Change Your Mindset, Transform Your Life. And what I'm initially going to do is set up an ebook with it. Then it's going to be a e-learning course with the idea of eventually setting up a master class. That master class I can turn around and put on my web, put into a webinar, and that I can turn it, I can make it evergreen where I sell it. So. What you want to do is you want whatever you're putting together your business, you want to look at how you can multipurpose that business. And remember, you can go to our website, and that website is the number one personal careercoach.com. And you can either get one of my membership sites, or we can sit down with you and help you put together a career plan on how you're going to put and take your business online.